Holland Village, an iconic address in Singapore which is famous for its laid-back and bohemian atmosphere. It offers a wide range of attractions including trendy cafes and bustling bars. Hi, this is Adeline Lim. Welcome to my Adeline Lim Show Flat Tour Series. Today, I'm here at Holland Village to check out a nearly completed mixed-use development which consists of 297 residents and also shop houses, retail, service apartments as well as community space. This is none other than One Holland Village. Some background stories about the bidding of this piece of commercial and residential site. It is a dual envelope concept bid by URA and has received 15 different bids. It means that the concept proposals will be shortlisted first, followed by the highest bid price. Fire's organisations, together with Sekusui House and Sino Group, have been awarded this site with a winning bid of 1.218 billion or nearly 1,888 per square foot per plot ratio. The mastermind behind this unique mixed use development is award winning architect Siu Mang Kok, founder and director of MKPL Architects. One Holland Village is located at a very strategic location. It is located at the heart of Core Central Region, District 10. It is just 3 minutes walking distance to Holland Village MRT, which is a Circle Line station. As we all know, Circle Line stations will be closing its loop by year 2026. By then, you will be easily accessed to places like Marina Bay as well as Orchard District. One of the highlights of Holland Village is its food scene. You will find a wide variety of cuisines, from local hawker fairs to international delicacies. Holland Village is conveniently located near several residential areas and education institutions, including Hendry Park Primary School, Anglo-Chinese School Internationals, Nanyang Primary School, National Universities of Singapore, and so on. So, its proximity to this area makes it a popular spot for students and expatriates. Usually for mixed-use development, the residential is always on top and the commercial is always below. However, for this unit, the commercial and the residentials are separated. It gives you a lot of privacy. As you can see from the model here, level 1, 2 and 3 are the retails and FMB, while level 4, 5, 6, 7 are the offices. And we have a lot of anchor tenants such as Cold Storage 24 hours, we have Bread Talk, and we have a lot of other different eateries. The tenants for the offices are also grade A tenants. So for residents, there are two different parts, which is service apartments as well as the residence. So for the residents, there are three different collections, which is Quincy Private Residence, Serene as well as Leven. So for Quincy Private Services, it starts from level 21 to 27. It consists of 28 units, all north-south facing. For Serene, it has 32 levels with 248 units and all north-south facing as well. For Levens, there are 3 levels with 21 units, all come in 2 bedrooms. And for the units on level 3, it comes with a private roof terrace. Even though it is a mixed-use development, it still provides you with a lot of amenities. And bear in mind that the amenities of the service apartment and the residence are separated. Residents come with a 50-meter lab pool and a children playground as well as the children pool. So there are actually several barbecue pits scattered around. There's also a big dining or function room for you to carry out your parties or gathering with your friends and families. So on top of level 33 of Serene Towers, there are a few amenities as well. So we have one barbecue pavilion here, an indoor and outdoor gym as well as a social lounge. On level 20 of Quincy Private Residence Tower, we have another two barbecue areas, each come with a spa pool. Other than the amenities that the residential offers, we also have a lot of community space around the developments. But at the commercial site, there's a huge village deck at level 4 for you to unwind and relax with your families. Other than that, there are a lot of spaces for you to connect and mingle with your community and neighbours. We have village square over here, village central as well as a big village green. So for residents who are going to take a public transport, there's a side gate over here and along the side gate, there is a sheltered walkway all the way to the Holland Village MRT and the location of the Holland Village MRT is right over here. So it's just 3 minutes walking distance. 
So the residential car park will be accessible over here and the entrance is actually connected by this newly constructed Holland Village Way. So the Holland Village Way will be accessible from this Holland Drive all the way down as from here, you can actually access to the commercial car park entrance. The entrance of the commercial and residential car parks are totally separated far away. So there are not a lot of units left for One Holland Village. As you can see, there's only 5 units available which is 2 vendors from Serene Tower and 2 units available for Levens and also just 2 units left for the Quincy private residence. So now let's head in and check out these 2 bedroom units from the Serene Tower. Now we are at the 2 bedrooms unit of the Serene Tower which is type B3 in a size of 797 square feet. So as we walk in, so you'll see a cabinet over here. As you open it, there is a washer and dryer over here and with a lot of storage over here. So this door is actually foldable to hide away your dryer and washer. So you'll see a fridge over here on your left and then as you move on, there is a kitchen area. There is a good sized sink over here, an induction cooker over here with two zones as well as a hook on top. Underneath, you also have an oven. What interests me a lot is in these kitchens, there is a condiment storage rack over here. It is very very thoughtful for the developers to install this for the residents. So there's also a lot of different cabinets over here for you to store your kitchen's accessories. So there are more storage over here as well as a DB box over here. So the dining area is relatively smaller but it is still good to fit a breakfast table over here. As we move on to the living and balcony area, you realize that the space is very big because the width of the living area is around 3 meters. If it's a two-seater sofa and you can even put a coffee table over here, you still have a lot of space to maneuver around. The balcony door is not a usual sliding door, it is a bifolding one which allows you to maximize the usage of your space. As we come to the balcony, it is big enough for you to put in your alfresco dining set or you can simply turn it into your lounge. Every of the balcony comes with this aluminium glass railing which ensures you to have a lot of privacy. So now let's check out the bedrooms. So the master bedroom comes with a decent 11.2 square meter size and it fits a king size bed along with a two panel wardrobe. So there is also a hidden storage over here to keep your iron board. As we step into the master bathroom, the floor and the wall are marble and with a quartz countertop. As we step into the shower area, there is a rain shower, handheld shower and also a shower latch. So all of the common bathrooms come with an automatic total washlet which will sense your arrival. The size of the common bathroom is the same as the master bathroom. The only difference is the wall of the common bathroom comes with a ceramic tiles instead of marble. Last but not least, we have this common bedroom come in 8.7 square meter. It fits a queen size bed as well as the two panel wardrobe. So in conclusion, this two bedroom unit is suitable for a family of two or three members. It is a bigger two-bedroom unit as compared to many other developments and hence it is not to be missed if you are looking for a development at the heart of the city, convenience, easily accessed and also which comes with a unique traditions and cultural blend. Contact me today to arrange for a viewing before it is sold out. So my number is 9011-4134. Adeline Lim. Thank you for watching. See you next time.